Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about credit cards. And of course, as most of my videos are usually inspired by my house and things happening around me, this is inspired because my husband keeps screaming at me and, tell and tells me to pay for my Amazon things with cash, stop using my credit card. So today I went and I did a little research and I found out why credit cards can be so bad, but I also understood that we can use credit cards to be good for us also. Why are credit cards super bad? Credit cards, if you have not paid your bills on time. So what happens with a credit card is, is you spend an amount, they make that amount due to be paid after about one month. And if you do not pay it after one month, they start charging you interest. Now, what are the rates of interest? Take a minute to think about it. They are 35 to 40% per annum late payment interest. That is inhumane. That's a horrible thing about a credit card, right? It can lead you into debt. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. How can we use this to our advantage? When does the payment become due? If we make a purchase today, the payment becomes due after one month. And if we don't pay it after one month, then interest starts. So do you realize that for one month you have free money? Even if you spent 10,000 rupees on your credit card and you put it into a short-term FD or a short-term mutual fund, you still made money because you because it's free money for one month the bill isn't due until one month after and it's only after one month that you actually start getting charged interest so take that interest that they charge because they were so high risk credit cards are so high risk and use it to your advantage make a payment make sure you'll have the money ready after one month to pay it pay it in full no late payment interest but you can make a little money on it isn't that amazing now, the second thing is that if you do end up defaulting on your credit card bill, so at the end of all of it, you've defaulted and you couldn't pay your bill, what happens? Your credit scoring goes down horribly. And therefore, in the future, if when you do have a family and maybe if you want to buy a house, you either will not get a loan or you'll get a very expensive loan. How can we use this to our advantage? Make your payments on time. Use that one month of free money earn a little bit on it and then make the payment on time. If you make regular payments on your credit card and you do not incur any late payment interest charges, your credit rating goes up. That means in the future, you are going to get cheaper loans, maybe from governmental institutions, which is great. We've just taken two of the biggest disadvantages of credit cards and made them advantages for us. It's pretty amazing. And the third thing that I like about credit cards, they give you a bunch of freebies. Um, my brother always tells me to shop on his card because he gets free airline miles. Um, some credit cards give you points that turn into Amazon gift cards. Um, you get free movie tickets, not that we go for movies anymore. Free hotel rooms, not that we're staying in hotels anymore, but they have a whole bunch of like these little fun, attractive things that are fantastic. So these are three advantages of credit cards if you know how to use them properly. One, pay the bill after one month, make sure you have the money ready, no late payment interest, that can dig a crazy hole. Number two, it improves your credit rating if you do pay them on time and in the future that, that will work out to your advantage if you want to home loan. And number three, all the fun freebies. If you guys like the video, please like, please share and please subscribe.